you need to have more on kids than just ten thousand dollars because it's only going to cover them right now sort of so looking at a hundred two fifty something like that on a kid can be a worthwhile investment that really makes sure that they are covered both now and later for their death benefit that's number one okay I don't want to at all present a life insurance policy as anything but the main focus being this covers you now of course you can use it for other things and that's what we're talking about on some levels but it's obviously life insurance first of all Hey everybody, Matt McKay, Safeguard Insurance, back in for episode three. Excuse me, four. <laughs> episode four of <laughs> the IUL series. Oh man, I'm just going to leave that in. Oh well, um, because you know it's real. So we're talking about in this episode number four, we have already talked about what's an IUL, what are the pros and cons, and breaking it down a little bit uh, more simply in an episode called IUL for Dummies. This episode four, four is for kids. I'm talking about IULs on children. Okay, this is not a video designed for five-year-olds to understand life insurance. This is talking about the concept of putting life insurance on kids uh, through an IUL uh, set up. So a lot of times we have the opinion that uh, we, sh we should put life insurance on kids in some kind of whole life or put them as a rider or something like that on a term or even on a permanent policy. And that's a good option. But another really good option that could possibly set up a massive investment vehicle for them in their future um, that could, it could really be an option that you might want to consider, especially if you have some extra money that you'd love to help out a grandkid or a child of yours to have options later in life, um, specifically related to cash value. Obviously, number one, life insurance is life insurance, okay? It's designed to cover if someone passes away. So when, from an insurance company's perspective, do you think they would rather cover someone who is 75 years old with heart problems or would they rather cover a one-year-old that has no health history at all, that has no problems and is likely going to live until they're in their 80s or 90s? Let's think about it. I'll give you a few seconds. Isn't it obvious that it would probably be a healthy kid versus someone who's, who's old and has some health issues? Exactly. So in an index universal life, it's the perfect opportunity to put uh, something on a young child that will protect them. Number one, I want you to think about what's the cost of a funeral right now? What's it going to cost when a one-year-old is 85? Think about that. It's probably going to double or it's definitely going to double and probably triple or possibly quadruple or even go further and double another time to where now a ten or fifteen thousand dollar funeral might cost eighty to hundred and twenty thousand dollars to put somebody away eighty or ninety years from now, especially if we have eight or nine percent inflation, which is ludicrous. I can't even believe that we have that, but think about that kind of inflation over time. You need to have more on kids than just ten thousand dollars because it's only going to cover them right now sort of so looking at a hundred two fifty something like that on a kid can be a worthwhile investment that really makes sure that they are covered both now and later for their death benefit that's number one okay i don't want to at all present a life insurance policy as anything but the main focus being this covers you now, of course, you can use it for other things, and that's what we're talking about on some levels, but it's obviously life insurance, first of all, okay? And it's not about getting rich off of kids. I want you to think about 
if if your child was to pass away, gets run over by a car, gets hurt at school and, and dies from complications, or gets you know leukemia or something like that and passes away, I know that's tough to think about, but exactly, I want you to think about it because would you want to go back to work immediately? Would you want to have to go back to pay for their funeral? Would you want to have to go back because you make a decent income and your family is going to miss it if you don't go straight back to work? Well, if you have $100,000, $200,000, you don't have to go back to work immediately so that you can grieve and hide in a hole for a while before you have to go back to work because... You don't want to be in that situation where you've had a disaster and you're forced to go back to work and it's still fresh in your mind because it just happened a week or two ago. Okay? So it's not about getting rich off of kids. Okay? This is about preparing for both now and the future. Now, related to the future aspect of this, because it's very likely that that your kids are going to live into adulthood and they're probably going to live... Average life expectancy now is looking like kids born now could easily live to 90. Um, And this, uh, for sure, 85. For sure, they should live longer than 80 years old uh, on average. Okay. So let's say that you put some uh, index universal life on a kid that's one or two years old. By the time they're, say, 20 years old, um, if you've invested in an IUL policy correctly um, and set it up to make sense in your future and their future, they're going to have a bunch of cash value. You're going to have paid pretty small premium and you're going to have sometimes two, three, four times the money that you put in in cash value that guess what? Could be a college fund, could be a down payment on a house, could be um, a pay for a wedding, uh, whatever, or, or pay for multiples of these, depending on exactly what all you've got in there. Uh, but after 20 years, you should have a profit in your cash value if you've done it at all correctly. And it gives them an opportunity to have that. Now, if they don't need it, or you have some other ways of paying for it, they now have a bucket of money and also life insurance that is probably going to grow from the original amount that you put on them at some point. Um, basically the cash value gets so high in some of these IULs, especially on babies, they have what's called the million dollar baby concept. Basically you, you put a policy on a kid and it builds so much cash value because the company is not worried about the risk because they know the kid is probably going to live for a while. And you have this massive life insurance on a kid that you started from when they were a baby. And so, million dollar baby. And honestly, one of these hundred, two hundred fifty thousand dollar policies can turn into that over time if the person you wrote it on is young enough. And again, it's not about getting rich, it's about an investment into their future. At some point, they're going to need life insurance uh, to make sure that their family is protected. Imagine if you gave them a two hundred fifty thousand dollar start. On their life insurance, or a hundred thousand, or a hundred and fifty, or fifty thousand, or whatever it ends up being, that's a huge advantage to them and their family, and it's about setting them up for the future. And if they do need the cash, if they do get hurt, if they do need a car, if they need a house, if they need college money, or they need to pay for their kids' treatment for health issues, or whatever, this is money that they can pull out. Again, we've, we've talked about it a little bit. Tax-free or tax-advantaged before 59 and a half. So we always talk about, you, you probably think about, I want to invest in real estate, but all the money that I really have is in my 401k or my IRAs or whatever. Or I don't have enough that's not in my 401k IRA that I have to pull out if I want to invest. Well, if your kids or grandkids or whoever or a policy that you have on them or whatever has that money, then you can go get that money and spend it or do whatever you need to do, reinvest it or whatever, into something else and not pay the 10% penalty for pulling out before 59 and a half. 
Now, let me ask you, why would you not consider that? Now, I understand some people, especially if you've got young kids and you're 25 years old, you may not have an extra few hundred dollars to put on your child's life insurance. But if you're a grandparent or if you have some cash flow um, or you really look at the value of this and you see it and you set it aside in your budget and it's something that you can maintain, it's a huge piece to both your portfolio while you own it and their portfolio. And it gives you a lot of options and it gives you an ability to invest on someone that's really young and healthy in life insurance versus looking at, I'm 50 now and I take three meds and I'm overweight. This is an option to get them covered now. And a lot of times you have other perks within these policies as well. But that's why I would recommend looking at an IUL on your kids. Hope that helps you out. Feel free to reach out if you have questions, like, subscribe, etc. Hope you all are doing well. Episode 5 coming up next.